Training and development of employees is crucial for improving performance and productivity. I'll talk about that in today's video. Hello, I'm Steven Goldberg of Optimus Performance, and we work with business owners and leaders to develop highly self-motivated and productive employees and salespeople. Please subscribe to our channel to get news of new videos as they come out. More than ever in today's work environment, it's extremely important that we train and develop our workforce. And that includes yourself as a leader or a manager, business owner. We all have unlimited potential. So that's a great opportunity. If we don't use it, it just gets wasted. So let's tap into it. Now, as leaders, business owners, we need to take a proactive approach to training and developing our employees, not reactive. Reactive means that we train when there's an emergency or we're forced to. For example, if we put in a new system or if we want somebody to learn a new software or if they're a new employee. So thinking it through, making a plan, a good place to start are based on your annual goals and objectives for your organization and for your department. And starting from that point, you have a good plan and vision and you could see, well, if this is going to happen, what does the workforce need to do? What do they need to learn? How, what do they need to adapt to? So you start asking a lot of questions and formulating a training plan that is proactive. When looking at skills to develop, also we want to look at both hard and soft skills. Now, hard skills are those that are required to perform a task. For example, operating a software or operating a machine, things of that nature, very specific to the job tasks, where, of course, soft skills are important as well, but they vary in different jobs. But these are skills that employees are required to manage themselves and how they communicate with others as well, how they behave, how they interact. And these are becoming more and more crucial, especially as we develop or want to develop more teamwork in organizations. Because teamwork really requires people to be able to work together, to grow together, to solve problems together. And the more that they interact, the more that they, you, you allow them to make decisions, you delegate decision making, the more that the problems, the conflicts can arise. And this is where interpersonal skills or soft skills play a really crucial role. More and more the marketplace is becoming competitive. So we could be competing globally, nationally, locally, but having a, a better developed workforce, a better trained wor workforce gives us that competitive advantage. One great example of uh, companies that do invest a lot in training and it shows are the uh, telephone or the telecommunications company. I know that when I have an issue with a, an account and I need to call the accounting department, uh, and you wouldn't think that they're in sales, and they're really not, but they've been trained uh, to sell. They've been trained to offer added services to whenever there's a contact with a client. So even though you're calling with a problem, perhaps, or you need clarification, they're going to try and upsell you or add on sell you. And this is a result of them being trained to do this type of activity and probably rewarded for it, too. One other thing to consider is the aging population. And as people get older, you're going to have more people in the workforce because there's going to be a lack of skilled, younger skilled talent. So it's important that we are able to retain the older workforce and that we're able to also keep them flexible because things keep changing and they need to keep learning as well. And so training and development is a way to keep people flexible, creative, engaged, interested in their work, and also less resistant to change. It's kind of like water. You know, if you leave a pool of water and you don't refresh it with new water, it becomes stagnant, it starts getting polluted, it starts to smell. Well, people are kind of like the same thing. We're meant to grow, we're meant to evolve, and if we're not doing that in the workplace where we spend a good part of our time, then we do become stagnant, we do become resistance to change, and that can really hurt an organization. 
So I encourage you to take a proactive approach to training. I'll have more on that in future videos on maybe steps to do that. I look forward to that. Thank you for listening. Please comment, subscribe to our channel, and see you again soon.